was up in the middle of the night thinking, I'm not in labor. I can't be in labor. I'm only 31 weeks pregnant. Something else has got to be wrong. Natalie and Jake drove to Mayo Clinic Health System in Mankato, where they were met by a medical team ready to evaluate the unborn baby's status. Like, oh, you're at eight centimeters. You're having a baby today. We're like, what? It was very scary. Yeah, for both of us, not just me. I think Jake was just as scared as I was. We got a call from our colleague in Mankato, Dr. Kambadi, uh, and he basically called us saying it looked like they were gonna have a preterm baby born. It's the initial care that is very important. The first three to five minutes care could make a big difference in their lives. As part of its Connected Care initiative, Mayo Clinic uses a new iPad-based telemedicine system to connect community medical teams with subspecialty experts at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. And we had this technology in place called the electronic delivery room, and he thought this may be a situation where it would be very helpful to have that in place. And we connected to Rochester um, even before the baby was born. Is he gonna be okay? Like. We didn't know because he was so small and we had never seen anything so small. We have a baby that's, that's kind of a crashing, uh, cannot breathe on their own because of the immaturity in the lung system. Uh, this could be devastating. So how is he doing from a breathing standpoint? Is he demonstrating any signs of respiratory distress? Uh, currently the respirations are a little choppy, um, um, irregular. I think at this point in time it would probably be prudent to start some facial CPAP. Actually was online with them for nearly two hours, kind of working through everything until our transport team arrived. It's not difficult to use. It can be life-saving. Hope, healing, and comprehensive care tailored to the individual. That's the core of Mayo Clinic's mission. Mayo Clinic continues to integrate its primary and specialty care practices across the Midwest and using innovative technology enabled services like the e-delivery room to make Mayo's expertise available when and where it's needed. I look at it and I think, well, what if they didn't use that and what if they didn't have her expertise and how maybe things could have gone wrong fast. Jace was transported to the neonatal intensive care unit at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. There, Natalie and Jake met Dr. Fang face to face. It's kind of like right before we got to go home, we finally got to meet her, so, and thank her. And after nearly two months in the NICU, Natalie and Jake took their son Jace home, a family together. He's gonna crawl and he's gonna sit up and he's gonna eat and he's gonna walk. He's gonna do, he should do everything normally. Teams of experts working together to deliver hope, healing, and exactly the care each patient needs.